No my Harimai ki te NBA TV. Ko Gigi toku ingoa. Ko Erika toku ingoa. Today is Ra Bete Rua te Koma Ono o Hiri Turi Koka. Here are your notices for today. Did you think of the first clue for Miss Robinson's scavenger hunt yet? Be sure to email her at shannon.robinson at mbi.school.nz to share. What will be the next clue? Good morning everybody. Hey, thank you all of those students who contacted me. So this indeed is the totara tree. So the Māori did use this hard wood for making waka, their canoes, back in the day. Spiky leaves here, and you can see that it has the bark that, I'm really careful here, I'm not sure what's behind it, or lots of slaters that you can peel off too. So somewhere around here, there should be another clue. Aha, here we go. So what have we got today? I was born in 1950 in London. I'm an entrepreneur, opening record stores, an airline, a rail group, and most recently, a space flight corporation, and taking the first test flight in July this year. 20 years ago, I was knighted by the Queen. Who am I? And well done to Dan Carter, room 23, within about uh, 10 minutes, about 10 past 9, he was able to tell me that it was in fact the Totara tree. So well done, Dan. See you tomorrow. The Maurice Bay Intermediate Cl Pride Club will be on Zoom today. For details, please check the Google Classroom for more details. Thank you in advance and have a nice week. Google Classroom code. Here is a picture for some wholemeal bread rolls. Baked by Emma Mackerel from Room 12. They look amazing. This day in history. This day in history. On this day in 1907, Harry Houdini escaped from chains underwater at Aquatic Park in 57 seconds. On this day... In 1957, the USSR announced that it had completed a successful test of an intercontinental ballistic missile. On this day in 1959, the British Motor Corporation introduced the Morris Mini Minor design by Alec Isigonis. It was only 10 feet long but seated four passengers. On this day in 1981, the Voyager 2 space bar spacecraft took photos of one of Saturn's moon named Titan. On this day in 2012, the 15-year-old New Zealand golfer Lydia Ko became the youngest LPGA Tour event winner and the first amateur winner since 1969 by winning the Canadian Women's Open by three strokes from INB Park. Well, well that's, that's all, folks. folks. Have a, Have a tired Thursday. Thursday. See, See you same time, time. Same place, same place tomorrow. tomorrow.